<laughs> Let's see how fast I can get through these questions. Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Weasel the Reads. And as always, I'm Andrew, and today I've got another book tag for you. But before we get to that book tag, Make sure you are liking and subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you get regular updates for when I put out new content. Post every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And uh, that said, guys, I was tagged in this by the ever amazing Gabby from Gabby's Arcanum. Uh, I just love Gabby. She's a fantastic person. She's fun to talk to. And uh, her channel's just amazing, so you definitely should be checking her out. I will have her video uh, linked down below in the description. Now that said, guys, I don't know who created this tag. Uh, I, I was doing some research onto it, and uh, it looks like it's been around for a pretty long while, but uh, this is the first time I've ever seen it. And uh, Gabby, thank you for tagging me. So uh, this is 50 questions. I'm going to have um, it broken out into timestamps for um, prompts uh, and 10 section prompts. So like questions one through 10, so on and so forth. Uh, anyway, let's get right on into the questions. Question number one. Uh, hardback or paperback? That depends. I like a good floppy paperback, but for display purposes, hardback. Reading, paperback. Uh, two, ebooks or physical copies? Physical copies. Uh, secondhand or new copies? Uh, new copies if I can find them, because they're usually less damaged. Uh, audiobooks or not? Nah? Yeah, I totally listen to audiobooks. Love audiobooks, especially if the narrator is on point. Uh, let's see, do you cover buy? I have cover bought before, and I will probably do so again. Uh, number six, your favorite cover that you own. Oh, crap. Um, I'm gonna go Dragon Mage by M.L. Spencer. Uh, do, 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 That's probably wrong. Um, uh, I've lost my place! Uh, your favorite cover that you own. Uh, your least favorite cover that I own. Oh, Christ. Uh, Uh, we're going to say re the my Rift War Sagas. Uh, you made me think there. I don't like having to think. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Your favorite cover that you own. Your least favorite cover that you own. Just did that one. Uh, first book you ever read. Uh, probably like Boxcar Children or something like that. Um, do, 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 do. The last book that you finished. Oh, God. Um, that would be Voice of War by Zach Argyle. Absolutely loved it. Uh, let's see, the last book that I bought, um, that would be Rayo Revelations. I bought the signed copies off of Michael J. Sullivan's, uh, website, which, I, but I've already read them. Uh, let's see, what's your favorite genre? Uh, that's gonna be fantasy. Uh, number 13, what's your favorite book in that genre? Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. Uh, do, 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 do. What genre would you never reach for? Romance. Uh, do you read poetry? I used to read a lot of poetry back in high school. I don't as much anymore. Uh, popular science. I'm gonna assume that's popular science fiction? And for that I'll probably go, um... I'm gonna say Otherland by Tad Williams. Uh, because I've read the first book like four or five times. And it's got science in it. So if it's not science fiction, or if it's just science, Otherland by Tad Williams. The first book. Never finished the series. I'm planning on changing that. Uh, do, 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 uh, popular science, middle grade. I, I kind of skipped the whole middle grade section. I'm going to say, I have to say Harry Potter, uh, cause I, I read Harry Potter and I think that's considered middle grade now. It, it used to be like YA, but now it's middle grade. I, I think, uh, what's my favorite bookish item? Uh, I've got a Harry Potter wand here. I've got Doctor Who up here. I've got uh, a bookish candle right here. Um, I've got a sonic screwdriver right here, I've got a TARDIS right there, and i got a Malcolm Reynolds gun right here. Uh, let's see, do 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 do. Uh, what is your current bookmark? It is these leather stamped things that I just kind of stick into, I, I bought them off of Amazon, they're leather. Uh, what's the strangest object that I've ever used as a bookmark? Probably my face or something, I don't know, I probably took a nap in the middle, just set the book right there, took a nap. Picked it back up. Uh, does that count as a bookmark? We're going to go with the face. Uh, what's this strange? Okay. Uh, book jackets or nah? Question 21. Uh, I love book jackets, but I will remove them while I'm reading the book. Uh, who's your fictional boyfriend? Um, hmm. 
We're going to go Colin because he thinks he's pretty from A Blood and Bone. Why not? Uh, let's see. 20, chapter 20, or chapter 23. Question 23. Who's my favorite fantasy couple? Um, favorite fantasy couple. Uh, I don't really read a lot of, we're going to go with Corbin and Corlin. Uh, because they're awesome. From Faithful and the Fallen. Going there again, apparently. Can't say out of the Banished Lands. Uh, favorite book villain. Uh, <laughs> Kenneth. From Life Ship Traders. Uh, favorite book friendship. Uh, that's going to be um, Slow Hand and Golden Gabe from uh, Kings of the Wild, probably. Uh, let's see, 26. Sequels, tri or series, trilogies, or standalones? I don't really read um, standalones. Uh, there's, I seem to own a lot of trilogies, so we're going to say trilogies, but I don't mind a good series. Uh, a weird reading habit. I mean, I don't really watch a lot of other people read all that often, so I don't know if it's a weird. What like what I do is weird. Um, I sniff my books, but I mean, I know Leslie does that. I'm, I'm not the only one. I like sniffing my. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in there and get a whiff right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, let me know if that was weird in the comments down below. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite book adaptation? Uh, I feel like adaptations are usually done pretty poorly. So we're going to go with Lord of the Rings. Because it's an easy. Uh, film, ad film adaptations or TV adaptations? I actually prefer TV. Uh, mainly because in the film media, they're just going to cut out too much. But what I don't like about the TV is they're going to change too much. So, yeah. Uh, what book needs an adaptation? Absolutely needs an adaptation. I'm gonna go probably with, uh, I've already mentioned it, but yeah, no, I'm gonna go with uh, Faithful and the Fallen by uh, John Gwynn. It definitely needs an adaptation. I'd love to see that on like HBO or something, as long as they don't put in a bunch of nudity. That'd be fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Need, favorite book, book world, uh, disc world. Discworld by Terry Pratchett. It's my favorite. It's hilarious, but it's deadly because I wouldn't want to live there. So, uh, favorite writing style? Uh, I probably uh, Brandon Sanderson because it's accessible. Uh, what's a book that you would love that people don't know about? A book that I, uh, a lot of people I, again. I just mentioned Ted Williams' Otherland. A lot of people, you know, they know Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn, and they know all of that stuff, but I don't know. Um, uh, and then there's Ryra Revelations. I, I really like Ryra Revelations. It's not flawless for me, but I really, really enjoyed it, uh, to the point where, like, I had it on audio, and I just went back and, like, four months later and bought the physicals, just so I could look at them on my shelf. And then I just bought Legends of the First Empire. So, I really like Michael J. Sullivan, so I'm, I'm hoping that I didn't just buy six books in hardcover, uh, and regret it. Uh, do 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 What's a book that you hated? I did not like The Poppy War, and I did not... The first book. I haven't read it past the first book, and I didn't like The Forgetting Moon by Brian Lee Durfee. Uh, favorite childhood reads? I've got The Magic Treehouse. I've got The Boxcar Children. I've got Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, uh, Dragonlance. Uh, I read all of that when I was younger. And, of course, The Wheel of Time. Uh, let's see... What's a book that changed your life? The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan, Eye of the World. Uh, it literally, I was reading fantasy, but it wasn't like epic fantasy. And then Eye of the World springboarded me into just all of this and all of that. And there's a shelf over there you can't even see. So it's all Eye of the World's fault. Uh, let's see. What book did you hate at school? Um... I don't remember hating any, oh, well, I, like, for, like, assigned reading? I hated all of them. I, I, nobody likes assigned reading. Um, so all of them. Like, I like reading for pleasure, but the minute I feel obligated to read something, I'm going to kind of rebel against that a little bit. So I'm going to go with all of them. Uh, a feel-good book, Discworld. Plain and simple. Uh, guards, Guards, specifically. Love Guards, Guards. It's, it's, it's funny. It's got a great story, and it it's just, oh, it's mm, chef's kiss. Uh, a book that made me cry. I don't really cry when I read, 
But uh, the closest is probably Dead House Gates um, by Steven Erickson, just because the end is a gut punch. Or maybe uh, Ruin can also fit that as well, because Ruin basically ruined me. Uh, let's see here. A book that made you cry. What's my favorite reading snack? I just kind of snack in general. Um, I want to say popcorn, but popcorn gets buttery, so I don't, I don't tend to like something that's going to stick to my fingers when I'm reading because I like keeping my books in as pristine condition as possible, so I won't eat, like, buttery popcorn. I won't eat chocolate. I won't eat chips. Uh, so probably like pretzels. Pretzels is a safe bet. Yeah, it's just, yeah, pretzels. Mini pretzels. So, yeah, pretzels. Uh, let's see. What's my favorite reading position? Uh, I don't tend to like being sitting up. I either like read on my side or I've got, I've got one of those like ergo beds that like puts you in like a really good position. So I can just read mostly sitting up, but then like it raises my legs. So I'm kind of like this position. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, let's see, natural light or lamp light? Uh, I don't read outside a whole bunch, but I will typically read with natural light if it is an option, but, uh, usually I'm reading at night, so it's gonna be lamp light. Outside or inside? Uh, I like reading outside. I don't like the bugs outside, so I read inside. Uh, breaking the cover or keeping it smooth? Keeping it smooth? Uh, are you talking about, like, breaking the spine? You monsters! Uh, let's see. Uh, do I read in other languages? No. Uh, what book series do you want to finish this year? What book series don't I want to finish this year? Um, whew. Uh, I'm trying to, th uh, Discworld. I'd like to finish the City Watch Discworld collection this year. Uh, because I'm on, I'm just now starting Jingo, uh, this month. So that, I'm halfway through. So it's kind of doable. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what book did you finish this year? 47. Uh, what book releases are you most excited for about right now? James Rowland's. Um, I read a lot of, I've read a lot of James Rowland's Sigma Force books, and I just realized that he wrote fantasy, so he's releasing a fantasy book called The Starless Crown uh, early next year, and I am stoked for it. I, I love James Rowland's writing, and yeah, I, I want it. I want it, need it, gimme. Uh, let's see. You finished this year. Excited about right now. What is your favorite book? Who Do you have a favorite book influencer? Uh, tons of them. Uh, I am subscribed to around 200 channels on BookTube. So, I mean, just off the top of my head, the bigger channels is going to be Leslie from The Nerdy Narrative. Uh, I really look up to Mike from Mike's Book Reviews, Philip Chase. Um, I look up to Alan from the Library of Alexandria. Um, I just, uh, I watch a lot of, um, uh, Mark from Slowly Red. Mark from Slowly Red is basically introduced me to Grimdark. Um, uh, Mike started me on the journey and Mark got me there. So those would probably be my five. Uh, Mark, Alan, Mike, and, uh, yeah, everybody just, uh, I, I absolutely love those content creators, uh, and Philip and Leslie. Uh, let's see. Do you have a channel, blog, or social media feed? Uh, yes, I do have a channel, uh, and if you're watching this, you would be watching this on my channel. So yes, I do. Uh, tag my friends, number 50. Uh, I decided to go with um, my, my good friend Walker from Walker Write 7. He's fantastic. He's a fellow booktuber and self-pub author. Uh, his book, Weavers, is fantastic, and I want him to write the second book faster so that I can have it. And uh, Jolien from Jolien Reads, just because Jolien's amazing. I enjoy talking with her. I enjoy watching her videos, and she's just she's just awesome. Uh, Liz from Booking Out Loud. Uh, she's a channel I recently discovered, but uh, I would love to see her do this tag as well. Then uh, another channel that uh, is bigger than mine, but I also recently discovered would be Joanna Souza. Uh, Joanna Souza is also just fantastic, and I would one day hope my channel is as good as hers. And then I've got Kate from The Literary Apothecary who is just a very kind, very just genuine human being. And I would just love to see her do this tag as well. And that said, guys, that is all 50 questions in 14-ish minutes, I think. So go ahead, let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think about any of my answers. Like I said, this will all be timestamped. And as always, guys, make sure to check the description down below for the link to the Wizardly Duo Discord 
We would love to have you. So, until next time, guys. Peace out. Stay magical. Bye.